Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to see the concept of the friction. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. First we will discuss about the introduction of the friction. Next we will see the disadvantage of the friction. Next obviously advantages of the friction. Next we will see the types of friction. So let's see one by one all this topic briefly. First, let's see what is the friction. It has been established since long that the surfaces here you can see of the bodies are never perfectly smooth. Here you can see this is the surface of the body. But if you see from the macroscopic point of view, then you can see it is like this. So in short, you can say surfaces of the bodies are never perfectly smooth. Next, when even a very smooth surface is viewed under a microscope, it is found to have roughness and irregularities, which may not be detected by an ordinary touch or you can say ordinary eye. If a block of one substance is placed over the level of the surface of the same or having the different material, a certain degree of interlocking always takes place. This does not involve any force so long as the block does not move. Next, but whenever one block moves or tends to move here you can see tangentially with respect to the surface on which it rests so here once again one block moves or tends to move tangentially with respect to other surface on which it rests the interlocking property of the projecting particles opposes always the motion so if here you can see this is the direction of the motion and this irregularities always opposes and thus it is in the opposite direction to the direction of the motion. Now I think we are able to define the friction. So next topic definition of friction. The opposing force here you can see which acts in the opposite direction of the movement of the upper block is called the force of friction or simply you can say friction. So it is very simple. The friction is what actually one type of the opposing force which acts opposite to the direction of the motion simply. Next disadvantage of the friction. At every joint in a machine, here you can see this is actually IC engine. Force of friction arises due to the relative motion between two parts. Here you can see there is a relative motion between piston and cylinder. And hence, some energy is always wasted in overcoming the friction. Here also you can see, if this body will move in the direction of the push, then there will be always friction force which opposes the motion of the body. Next, advantages of the friction. Though the friction is considered undesirable, yet it plays an important role both in nature and in engineering. In the previous session, we have discussed about the disadvantages of the friction, where we have discussed that due to the friction, always energy is wasted. But here it is written, though the friction is considered undesirable, yet it plays an important role both in nature and in engineering. Let's take examples. First, walking on a road that is due to the friction only. So here you can see 
walking is possible due to the friction between the surface of the shoes and surface of the road. Next, motion of the locomotive on rails. So here, the motion of this locomotive on the rail that is due to the friction. Next, transmission of the power by belts, gears, etc. So again, there is a friction between the pulley surface and the belt and due to this friction force, the power can be transmitted. Otherwise, it will slip. Next, the friction between the wheels and the road is essential for the car to move forward. And that's why after some times we have to change the tire because of due to the wear of the surface of the wheel, the friction is reduced. Now the last topic, types of friction. Generally, you can classify the types of friction based on two different approach. First one, based on lubrication and second one, based on motion. Now, based on the lubrication, you can classify the friction in three different categories, dry friction, boundary friction and film friction. Now, again, dry friction is subdivided in two types of friction, sliding friction and rolling friction. According to the motion, you can classify the friction in two categories as static friction and dynamic friction. This dynamic friction is also considered as kinetic friction. Next, kinetic friction is again classified in two different categories as sliding friction and rolling friction. In the next video, we will see all types of the friction in details. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.